Ramana Maharshi's profound wisdom shines in talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. This Ramana clip is from a longer video from Richard Clark as he comments on the talk. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is talk 171. To another question, Master said, the best is heart-to-heart -heart speech and heart-to-heart -heart hearing. That is the best Upadesha. The questioner, is not guidance from Guru necessary? Maharshi, are you apart from Guru? Questioner, is proximity helpful? Maharshi, do you mean physical proximity? What is the good of it? The mind alone matters. The mind must be contacted. In this talk, Ramana Maharshi emphasizes the profound nature of communication that transcends mere words. He states that the best form of instruction, Upadesha, occurs through a direct heart-to-heart -heart connection. This implies a communication that goes beyond verbal exchange, suggesting a deeper intuitive understanding that happens at the level of the heart. Note that when Ramana talks about heart, he is talking about the core of your being, not a physical organ. So Ramana is talking about being-to-being -being communication, deeper than any words. When the questioner raises the point of needing guidance from a guru, Ramana responds with a counter question. Are you apart from guru? This question challenges the idea of separation between the disciple and the guru. It suggests that at a fundamental level, there is no distinction between the seeker and the one who imparts guidance. This aligns with Advaita Vedanta, which underscores the identity, the oneness of the individual soul, Atman, with the ultimate reality, Brahman. They are not different. Further, when the question of proximity is raised, Ramana probes the deeper meaning behind it. He dismisses the significance of physical proximity and says that what truly matters is the mind. In other words, the effectiveness of guidance and connection lies within. This aligns with the idea that spiritual progress is not contingent on physical closeness, but on the alignment of the seeker with the teachings. Ramana's response underscores the transformative power of direct inner communication. The heart-to-heart -heart speech and hearing he speaks of goes beyond the limits of language and physical presence. It suggests a communion where the essence of the teachings is transmitted and received at a profound level of understanding, deeper than any words. This talk reflects Ramana Maharshi's emphasis on the subtlety of communication and spiritual guidance, communication beyond what can be done with words. 
this exchange highlights the unity between the seeker and the guru, diminishes the importance of physical proximity, and underscores the pivotal role that lies within yourself in the spiritual journey. This perspective aligns with the core principles of Advaita Vedanta and the profound teachings of Ramana Maharshi. So, inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now 